Welcome to the June 2024 Town Manager Updates. We're gonna be looking at some of the projects that have been funded by grants over the past couple of years. So you can see some detail on what the project is and where the money's going. So this is the location of a, of a bench dedicated to Eleanor Murphy. The street over here, Eleanor's Way, is named after Eleanor. And she's a long time dedicated member of the community. Select board member, state rep. She's embedded into the fabric of this community. These benches are available for $1,000. We also have the opportunity to have two dedications of the bench for $500 each. We also had our underground oil tank, which was replaced, which was funded through ARPA funds as well. And that was about a $100,000 project. And again, we didn't have to raise through taxes. That was completely funded by grants. Uh, one of the projects that we've been working on for quite a while is sidewalks on both both sides. Um, hopefully by probably the fall of next year, we'll have that done. And then on the other, other side, we'll have the sidewalk that by design goes up to the buildings. Any building you see on the edge will have their buildings close to the sidewalk by, by design. You wanna just share what, what's going on and maybe share what you're most excited about on the project? Um, well, right now what's most exciting obviously is 16 Sullivan Streets going up. So we're pretty pumped about that. Um, you know, can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. We also have another building going up right next to it, 18 Sullivan. So it's gonna be a fun, productive summer for us. There'll be uh, balconies front and back um, for uh, the tenants to use, uh, second and third floor. It really brings in a, another uh, architectural feature that's, you know, classic New England and uh, adds to the, the look of the downtown area. The footprints of future buildings along Main Street that we're gonna be covering in this black grass to, to make it feel a little bit more uh, finished and uh, look a lot better. So it should be exciting. This lot here and that building over there still owned by Fund of Jupiter. Eventually, we'll start seeing development, uh, whether Mark decides to develop it or sell it at a later date. This is a continuation of the project area. You can see this looks pretty gross. So this will all be cleaned up in a new sidewalk and it goes down to the intersection here. These utility lines, um, will be gone. It's a $3.14 million grant that we submitted through Susan Collins' office that was um, supported by her and ultimately funded. So ARPA is the American Rescue Plan. The town received about $800,000. 100000 went to the playground. And you can see we actually have a pretty sophisticated grant system that was funded through impact fees and through recreation capital funding as well. So you can see the mix of grant funds and town funds helps make a you know, complete package. The courts, they take a month for the pavement to cure, and then we're gonna put a uh, seal on top of it. And after that, we're going to stripe them and then adjust the hoops to make sure that they're all level and 10 feet. This is, um, used as a park and ride, primarily for the shipyard. You can park here and visit the downtown or park here and you know, go somewhere else in the area. Pretty soon, DOT will be paving this. This will look a lot nicer with all new pavement and it'll be striped. We have uh, two filter ponds at the fire department and we were required to do those because we had some wetlands we had to disturb to put in a driveway and ultimately the fire station. Some water comes down Sullivan Street and then comes down Wilson Street, the verge is here, that comes through. There's now a six, 60 inch pipe underground that follows Main Street all the way down this way. The pipe continues and follows, uh, comes down, comes down this way. 60 inch pipe, it stops here and we have our pipe, that, that 40 inch pipe, that will run through this intersection here, run along the entrance of Gateway Gas and eventually uh, take a turn down to the river. Going along with that project is bringing in utilities to bring them underground at the same time while we have the street opened up. Down from the fire station, the stream, Sullivan Street, through the edge, through the intersection, outlet down here in this area and it goes on down the river 
So just to give you an idea, we spend about $800,000 a year on road construction. Um, this, this project here, the outfall project, is a $1.4 million project. And we had to match it at 5% we used ARPA funding. So we used zero taxpayer funds to fund this entire project, which is almost two years of road construction for the town. This is like an area, obviously, throw a picnic table or a couple benches here. Can I space them and throw lunch? So we can see we have spaces for uh, future ornamental lights. We have kind of a run of meat that uh, the sidewalk's going to be. We have on-street parking and sidewalk right, right here running along this section of Mullen Street all the way down. See, it's starting to come in. There'll be railing put in, some fencing. There's going to be a, a ton of landscaping that goes into this. So... Uh, there'll be a sidewalk and there'll be grass coming in and a ton of plants. The stand water comes down from Mullen Street on both sides. Then it filters in through this pond here. Again, this project was entirely funded through the main infrastructure adaptation grant. And by design, it's a DOT funded program to help stormwater maintenance. As we develop the core of the downtown as it kind of comes out and every every space is uh important there's definitely some potential back here to to clean this up a bit so yeah 2025 uh the town funds 10 percent of the project um it's about a million and a half dollar project that will bring in new bike lanes on both sides and sidewalks and it'll fix this weird intersection here between school street and Saw Manal. so that, that completes our uh tour for the day. As you can see there's about you know, close to $6 million in grants that have been awarded over the past few years. And uh, as the goal was for today, that understand a little bit of where the money's going and, and why and, and see how the money's being put to great use. Um, a lot of these projects, we wouldn't be able to do them. They would just be on the list to do. So it feels really good to actually see these uh, visions come to light. And we're not done. Um, we have other projects and segments that need to be completed. So we'll see you on the next update. And I'm looking forward to sharing about more of what the town of Eric is doing. Bye-bye. Oh,